I've seen some pretty incredible videos on the internet of people making insane weapons and tools. Some of these things can cost an awful lot of money. Shut up and take my money. And some of these things are just darn right awesome looking. I hope something like that is gonna happen today because I'm checking out Mob Bows. This is available in the Minecraft Marketplace for 499 coins or $2.99. Okay, this is the start and I'm getting like, I think, a little preview of all of the different bows. <gasps> There's a wither bow. Oh my gosh. Okay, how does this work? Recipe book, guide book. I need both of these books. Okay, I'm learning about all of the different bows. There's blaze bows. What is this? A warden bow, wither bow, zombie bow, axolotl bow. The axolotl bow requires four actually living axolotls to murder axolotls to make this bow. It must be amazing. Oh, the vex bow. Okay. Oh, the creeper bow. Oh my gosh. This has a special ability of summoning a charged creeper where the arrow hits and then it explodes a few seconds later. Amazing. There are so many bows. Spider, ender dragon bow. Oh my word. Enemies will be teleported away. Creates an end portal in the area where the arrow hits. Gives a huge boost effect while in the end dimension. Holy moly okay wait what about the wither what, what what was this wither bow i need to look at this one again explodes where they land the wither effects near precisely this is like it's not even that cool okay and it's like not it's like not even that cool i need the ender dragon bow okay so this gives me a lot of hope here like can i take one? Oh my oh thank you oh i get a snake bow wait there was a snake bow what was a snake bow oh here it is the snake bow it shoots snake arrows these arrows will create poison smoke in the area and cause nausea poison effect and hurt nearby enemies oh well thanks for the snake oh, oh my gosh oh i got a few starter bows oh dang it i was sitting here thinking like oh i'm gonna go and make a creeper bow because it looks like i actually can or maybe a vex bow or maybe even a uh, iron golem bow but they're just handing them over oh my god okay so we have a creeper bow which will summon charge creepers okay we have a iron golem bow oh my gosh that's what that looks like is there an iron golem oh my gosh kind of coming right out of his forehead right there that bow right there but this will summon an iron golem where the arrow hits oh it'll attack nearby enemies amazing okay i have the guardian bow i see that one over here there's a hole in the floor gotta avoid that shoots laser beams <gasps> what oh my gosh okay well that is amazing and then we already learned about the snake bow so the, let's go explore a little bit i have my my bows with me now what's down here this looks this looks suspicious what's what's going on down Oh my gosh, I'm hearing things already. Well, which bow should I use? I'm afraid that they're gonna be too insanely powerful right now. Oh, oh, I hear stuff, but I don't see stuff. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, I could, I just explore and great, so many things. Now I do know that there is a, oh my gosh, diamonds, amazing. There is a villager that I think will trade me for the bows as well and i use emeralds in order to pull that off so we'll see oh my gosh so many diamonds so we'll see if i can find that person and then if i can maybe we can try to get some emeralds instead of the crafting materials because crafting materials stuff seems expensive although there is like so much already in here maybe i'm pretty close to having some of these op bows that i want based off of how many eyes of ender they just gave me which is enough to complete the portal to the end i'm getting a feeling that uh, some things may be handed handed to me is this a doorway like that i'm supposed to go through to like fight stuff because okay okay i'm i'm actually i'm left more confused than when i oh i started to open this what on earth why'd you put a a square little room in there wait what okay I'm, I'm using some of my diamonds to make a shovel okay this seems stupid i know but i need a shovel so we i have a diamond shovel now this is like rich man problems i don't have enough iron but i do have a shovel so what's back here is there oh my oh my oh my that is a lot of mobs okay well oh my gosh spider you stay way way over there i'm gonna try my snake bow for the first time Oh, oh, it makes a sound? What? 
It's like a oh, oh gosh. What? That did nothing. Attack it. Okay, there it goes. Okay, okay, it's been poisoned, maybe? Okay, let's try this again. Uh, 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 oh, there we go. Okay, my little snake bow doesn't seem to be working very well. Okay, I don't want to use the guardian bow because that would mention that it would be like, I don't know, lasers and explosions. Let's try this iron golem bow. Hiya! Oh, oh he, not, oh, he died. Oh, the iron golem bow worked great. Is that a tiny little iron golem? <gasps> it's like a baby iron golem. Okay, well, let's throw a baby iron golem. Oh my gosh, there is another. Get out of here, spider. Oh, I love the like metal sounds that it's making. This is insane. Get it! There we go. Okay, that spider is done for. Now, there were so many bad mobs in this tiny little room. So many. So, we're gonna shoot a few iron golems <laughs> in there. Is it working? Oh my gosh, I think it's working. I I do think the iron golems are helping. Oh my god, they died. They died. Okay, iron golems, I need some more of your help. Go get them. Go get... There we go. Amazing. Oh my gosh, they dropped so much stuff. You know, I would need a torch pretty badly. This is pretty dark. Do you think some creepy like redstone thing was supposed to happen where it like dropped all of these doors, you know, at once? Cause they are sand. So they could just fall. Oh, oh, this one's deeper. Oh, oh, hello. Get get out of here. Get Iron Golem! Iron Golem, please take care of this zombie for me. Yes, thank you. I'll uh, summon a few extras here. Uh, I'm sorry, zombie, but uh, you are not needed. Oh my gosh. Oh, the moss easily breaks with my shovel. Don't need it. Okay, it looks like we got a few mobs up in here. Got a spider. Uh, zombie, uh, mo uh, iron golems. There we go. Okay, perfect. Taken care of. Whoa, that has light. What? What is going on here? I can't tell. Okay, well, I'm done exploring this area. Oh, 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 I remember. There is a flint and steel in here. So I can just uh, boop, 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 light that up. Perfect. This is a nice little base. I think this snake bow is pretty crummy. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here in this chest. I don't think I need the snake bow because the iron golem bow is better. I still wanna test out these other bows, but I'm afraid they're too powerful to test indoors. So let's go look for a place to test some of these bows that I've already gotten. Holy moly, there is a place called the Battle Arena. If that's not the perfect freaking place to test these bows, I don't know what is. Oh, there's vendors and merchants out here. A food vendor. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. So I can use my emeralds for that. Uh, no, I don't think I want to use my emeralds for that. Let's see. We got, oh, I can sell. <gasps> oh, so when I find stuff, this is a great way to get emeralds. Although a little stingy with the trades there. So we got an armor dealer. I don't want to accidentally hit you with the wrong thing. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, we can go up to netherite with emeralds. Oh, that's nice. A tools dealer. Same thing. Up to netherite. Oh, my gosh. That makes emeralds like the best currency ever. <gasps> I can get an axolotl bow. I can get the spider bow. I can go all the way up to the wither bow. The warden bow. Do I even remember seeing the warden bow in my little book? I don't remember seeing the warden bow in my little book. Uh, Ender dragon bow. That's the one that seems absolutely insane. 30 emeralds I need to get that if I can't find the stuff to, to make it myself. Oh, here's the warden bow. Oh, gives huge knockbacks to enemies hit by the warden arrows. Okay, that's about it. Okay, okay. I can also just get real weapon. I could buy a netherite sword right now. Holy moly, that's pretty cool. Okay, I that's it, that's, so those are the merchants. So getting emeralds, definitely a priority. Oh my gosh, the spider web bow is just sitting here. These are actual weapons that are just sitting around. Children could play and die with these weapons. Be careful where you store your weapons. Okay, this battle arena looks, okay, what? Okay, there's like buttons and stuff. Oh my gosh, I see a, a warden. I see a creeper and a zombie. Let's read these signs. Okay, we got easy, medium, and hard, and then I can clear the arena. Let's start with easy, and I'm going, oh, oh, there's tools. <laughs> I guess they're building the arena. They gotta, they gotta build it. Bob the Builder. Okay, oh, it's ready for battle. Okay, three, what is going on here? This map is insane. Fight, wave one. Where are the waves? Oh my gosh, oh my, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm surrounded. Oh, and there's lava. Okay, wait, first let's get out our creeper bow and attack, bam. Oh my gosh, stay away, stay away. 
from me? Yes, please! Oh my gosh, we got charge creepers blowing up the place all over. Get out of here. Okay, I want to use also the guardian bow. This was supposed to be a laser with a huge explosion. <gasps> Whoa! That is a huge explosion of of wardenness. No, not another wave. I'm not prepared. Okay, we're going to use the spider web bow. Oh my gosh. Uh, why didn't you shoot? Ouch. Oh my gosh, there is a giant spider. There is now an absolutely massive spider. I'm about to die because I am not prepared to fight in this arena. That was insane. Okay, whoa, I lost. Better luck next time. Thanks for being so mean to me. I know that I lost. Are these spiders nice to me? No, they're not. I summoned you. I made you. I'm like your dad. Stop attacking me. Oh my gosh, now I have to run away from gigantic spiders. Not me trying to avoid the, the big spider just following me around. And there's one still in the hallway. Okay, let's see if I can sprint past him. Okay, let's try to get our stuff back. Oh my gosh, the spiders are still here. I need to get out. A boat, get out of here. No, don't attack me. I made you and I can unmake you. The good news is that I have a great place to get lots and lots of string so I can trade out all of my string for emeralds. Now I already have 27 emeralds. From that fight, I realize I probably need a little bit better armor. So maybe I should work on buying some armor here. Oh my gosh, I already have lots of emeralds to do that. Netherite helmet. Oh yeah, baby. That's right. Okay, so netherite helmet acquired. Out of all of the things that the merchant will trade me for, Spider web and string, I guess, really is going to be the easiest thing. Why? Because I can use the spider bow to make all of this web. And for some reason, they attack me, okay? I just made you. I still don't understand. But look at all this uh, string that I can get. I will say it feels a little cheaty. So I don't think I'm going to do it that often. But that is one way to farm emeralds. If I need to, let's go explore though. Let's, that seems boring. I'm just sitting there and uh, getting emeralds all day. So let's look around, see what we can find. Oh, oh my gosh. Honestly, tools are an awesome thing to find. Oh my gosh. This chest has dragon's breath in it. I needed four dragon's breath to make the bow that I want. Of course, they only gave me three. So I need to like find the last one in order to make it myself. But three is pretty far along in the process. Let's see if we can find one more. I love this house. I might just steal this house. It's mine. Because it has an enchanting table in it. <gasps> potatoes. It even has potatoes. I love potatoes. I eat potato chips all the time. And potato french fries. Oh my gosh. <gasps> more dragon's breath. I think I have enough to make the bow. I need a bow. I don't have a bow. I need a bow. I think I may have stuck a bow over in this area. Yeah, let's see. Is this uh, ooh, a, a fresh bow? <gasps> okay, let's try to make this. This. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I am so excited. I can't be more excited. An ender dragon bow. An ender dragon bow. I'm making an ender dragon bow right now okay i'm not ready i don't feel like i'm ready because the easy even just the easy wave killed me that's not cool okay we don't want that to happen again i need at least full netherite armor and maybe even a few potions of living to survive these waves i just found a warden bow oh my gosh a warden bow a bow of the warden the warden is like the strongest creature in the game i cannot believe that i'm getting so many i need i need a way to keep more stuff <gasps> a vex bow oh my gosh okay i want to try all of these again because that is awesome man i almost wish they didn't just hide all the bows because you could be trying to make them but if you look hard enough, you can definitely find enough to have a pretty crazy arsenal of weapons. Okay, there's some zombies. They have to go. Okay, they just absolutely have to go. We're going to use our warden bow. Oh, yeah. Holy moly, the knockback is actually insane. Ooh, whoa. Okay, so let's, uh, okay, that's kind of cool. But let's use the vex bow now. What is this going to do? Holy, whoa. It like, it's like three... 
Whoa! That is like sharp. Did you see how it like hit, killed them like immediately? What does the Vex bow do? Oh, it shoots three iron swords as projectiles? Okay, okay, three iron swords as projectiles. There they go. I could just, I, oh, never give it up. Okay, okay. I think I murdered him before he exploded. I just picked up a blaze bow. Oh my gosh. These bows are just getting more and more powerful, I feel like. The more I find. Okay, I'm afraid I'm just gonna like burn down a house. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's an animation of me. I haven't, wait, did the Vex do that? No, no, the Vex just shoots. What about the warden? The warden? Well, well, it does some cool particle stuff. Okay, before we go into this battle arena situation, and I think I want to do it like I want it to be the biggest battle ever, okay? We're gonna go straight to hard mode, and I'm gonna bring out all of the bows that I have and try to defeat the hardest waves of mobs. But before we get started, I wanna have every bow, okay? We already have a ton of them. It looks like we have eight bows. There's only 13, so we only need four more to complete the entire set. First off, blaze bow, we got it. The warden bow, I already have. The wither bow, do I have the wither bow? I only have three wither skeleton skulls. Uh oh, oh no. Why did I set the goal for myself to have every bow? Wait a second. I might be able to buy this bow. Ooh, how much does it cost for the wither? <gasps> 42 emeralds. Okay, well, we may need to get 42 emeralds for the wither bow. The zombie bow. I don't have the zombie bow, but I definitely have what is required to craft it. So let's go head on over here. It just requires the bow in the middle and the rotten flesh on either side. There we go, the zombie bow. What on earth? This thing, what? It has a face on it. It's so <laughs> weird. Look at it. Oh my gosh. The bow goes through the zombie's mouth. What? Is this gonna summon a zombie? I assume it will. <gasps> a giant zombie? Excuse you, a giant zombie, but I can tell that you are going to try to attack me. So let's move away just a little bit and use my iron golem bow that will summon iron golems. Here, let's shoot at the floor here so our iron golems can help us out immediately. That is so funny though. The zombie bow is uh one, that one will be pretty awesome. So it summons a giant zombie or three to five baby zombies. Oh, they will attack your, your enemies. Very cool. Axolotl bow, still don't have. Axolotl bow requires axolotls. I have two so far. How much does an axolotl bow cost? Can I just buy that? Oh, this is the wrong weapons dealer. <gasps> axolotl 14, I'll do it. I'll take I'll take that. What is this? <laughs> this, this little arms are part of the bow. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can handle that. Oh, that's too much. Oh, this makes a water geyser. Okay, I'm gonna try it on this. Uh, that, whoa, holy moly. Was that an axolotl that flew out of there? What? It is, holy mo okay, that creates an insane, okay, that is cool. The bee bow, the bee bow is next, shoots bee arrows. Okay, it also will make the ground honey blocks and then it'll summon angry bees. This sounds amazing. So let's make this the bee bow. Okay, the bee bow. I'm gonna shoot it over here at this, uh, oh, the buzzing is scary. Bzzz. Okay, it made the ground honey blocks. We got the evil bees that are buzzing around. They look gigantic. They look like, oh, they died. Okay, both of them died. And then this is just, oh, this is just straight up honey blocks. Oh my gosh, yeah, definitely don't do this around a build that you like, because then it, it's just turned into honey. Well, it's a great way to get a lot of honey if you need honey blocks. It, honey blocks are honestly an awesome way to build, like better than scaffolding, because you can just break them with your fist. I bet I can't sell these honey blocks back to the merchant. Hey, you want some honey blocks? <laughs> I got a lot of them. The only bow that I don't have now is the wither bow. I have every other bow. Uh, I went and got the snake bow. So everything except for that wither bow is something that I have. So let's go see if I can farm emeralds. I need 42 in order to get that. Bones, gunpowder, so a lot of mob drops, some coal, some iron, and diamonds. Okay, and then also I probably want some armor. 
Ooh, although that will require 50, 60, 76 emeralds. I already have the helmet. So 76 plus 42, 112. I think it's 112. I need 112 emeralds. Ooh, I have seven. I can sell what I have in some of these base things. Like I'm not gonna need iron if and or gold or even diamonds if I'm just using the netherite tool guy. So uh, this is uh, how many is this? Uh, that would be 20 emeralds. I think I I think I I think I want to do it. 20 emeralds, 46. That means. Oh my gosh, hey, we get a lot of experience, that's nice. But now I can afford the most expensive bow, which is the wither bow, but I do want another right armor as well. I want to test a theory, and that is if I take the spider web bow and I shoot it in there, and then I say, clear arena. Uh, oh, oh, it deletes everything. Oh, well, now there's nothing left. Okay, that was not what I was hoping for. We're doing it. We're farming the string in order to get as many emeralds as we need. <gasps> I just had a brilliant idea. I just had a brilliant idea. Which bow was it that shot the water? The axolotl bow. <gasps> wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Can I? Hiya. Oh, oh, that was the wrong one. Oh my gosh, Iron Golem, thank you for helping me out. Hiya. And then does that put, oh, it does. It washes away the string and creates even more string. I'm brilliant. Ah, no, not the lava. Oh, not me in the lava. Oh. Okay, we're covering up all the lava. Get out of here. Whoa, holy moly. Can I get up on top? Is that a place I can go? I need some steps or some stairs or a ladder or anything. Okay, so here's my crazy idea. I'm gonna constantly shoot the spider and the axolotl kind of at the same spot. Get out of here. It was without work. Get, uh, get gone. Okay, well, if that doesn't work, now as I shoot this, it's going to constantly destroy the, oh gosh, the cobwebs. Although this is not really working all that great. I need a lot more iron golems. Iron golems, save me. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think this is so messy, but I think it might actually work. <laughs> I think it's maybe crazy enough to actually work. I don't know why I shot a water one. After all that craziness, we have uh, at least seven stacks of string. That is impressive. So let's see how much this turns into emeralds. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I've been doing this a lot. Oh gosh, oh, oh, put that down. There we go. I don't remember how many I needed, but I think this is enough. Considering this is over a hundred, Let's go see. So I have netherite helmet. I just need the rest of the, the pieces. So let's just start at the top. We got our netherite chest piece, our pants, <gasps> and our shoes. We were able to do it and we still have 45 emeralds remaining. Amazing. This technique was awesome. Now I'm in full netherite gear. Didn't I buy the, didn't I, didn't I buy the bow that I wanted? Where's the wither bow? With a wither, wither bow? Did I not buy that bow? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay, well if I didn't, I have only just enough. Oh my gosh, I only have, I'm only three away. Oh my gosh, there we go. I have the wither bow. I have them all. <laughs> okay, so I wanna go test out these and then we're gonna start the hardest wave that exists. Things that I haven't tested are the wither bow and the ender dragon bow. So, uh, oh, or the warden bow. I haven't ch tried the warden bow. Everything else I've, I've done a good test with. So here is the wither bow. I'm just gonna shoot, I guess, just like a, oh, oh my gosh. An iron golem, a poor iron golem. He died immediately. Whoa. Okay, this seems like a really powerful, like one shot bow. Because, whoa, uh, that murdered a lot of, of things. Okay, the Ender Dragon Bow. Oh, I like how you hold it, okay? This is the big one. I was so excited about the Ender Dragon Bow the first time that I heard about it. So, let's see what type of damage it does. Boom. Oh, he just teleports away, and then that was it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
I wanted that to be way cooler. What the heck? Even the blaze bow is cooler than that thing. What on earth? Okay, let's try this one more time. Hiya. Whoa! Oh my god, it made an end portal. That's random? That's a random thing? The end portal is random? Wait, what? I remember the book saying something about an end portal, but I didn't expect it. <laughs> to just pop in there like that. Let's try the warden bow. Oh, wait, no, we tried the warden bow. This is the one that had the crazy knockback, didn't it? Yeah, that, uh, we tried this one already. Okay, so let's go. Uh, what is up with this uh, portal here? Situation? Creates an in portal in the area where the arrow's hit. Okay, that's just a special ability of it. Okay, well, let's prepare ourselves for the biggest, craziest, most insane mob battle we've ever seen. So here's my strategy going into this. Uh, and that is that I think that I'm going to use mobs to fight on my behalf a little bit. So we're going to make sure to use the iron golem bow a lot. Uh, let's also see here. I think that the vex bow was a very powerful one to, to shoot. The wither bow was super powerful. Ender dragon bow, actually not that much. Same thing with the warden bow. I think the guardian bow was insane. Just absolutely insane. And maybe the blaze bow, that'll set things on fire. And then creeper bows spawn in a charged creeper. So we're gonna keep those. That is the set of bows that I'm gonna kind of start this battle with. We're gonna choose hard difficulty. Oh, and it's starting. Okay, I'm gonna immediately start in by spawning. I don't know if this will actually work. If I start to spawn in these guys now or does it delete them? No, it does. Deletes them. Okay, we are starting our fight. I'm gonna try to put down as many of these guys as possible. Wave one. Okay, we got that over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have to use immediately, let's go to the guardian bow just to get rid of the large amount of people here. Holy moly, let's switch to the wither bow. Get out of here. Yes, that is exactly what we wanted. Oh my gosh, we have the most insane mobs and I'm losing health so fast. This poison really hurts. So before the the wave is gone, I want to put down a few iron golems to help protect me in the next wave. And we're also going to wait for this poison effect to wear off. I'm poisoned and I'm slowed. Holy moly. I really hope that when the next wave starts, it doesn't just immediately like delete all of these guys because that would be sad. Uh, we got one Ravager over here. He's going to fight. Okay, that's I think should be the end of that wave. My health isn't fully back. Ooh, they spawned right upon me. Oh my gosh. Okay, and we are gonna switch to, let's switch to the blaze bow, see how this does. What do we got? You, you look bad. Ooh, you look really bad. Okay, those, that worked very well. Creeper, how about, ooh, I got slowed. Oh my gosh, my iron golems, so powerful. Let's continue this strategy. Get out of here. I like this because whenever I'm shooting at something that's coming at me, I'm also creating more iron golems as an iron golem army. That is amazing. Yes, my iron golem army. A thousand iron golems versus a thousand mobs. Hoo -ha -hoo. They're doing so well that they are just like destroying the everything without me even doing anything. Oh my. Okay, let's switch to, actually, these iron golems are doing so good. Let's switch to the zombie bow. Ow, get out of here, okay. I wanna see if the zombies help fight just as well as the iron golems. Oh my, my, they are fighting. My health is so low because of, oh no, no, see, they, they don't work because they, they turn on you. Iron golems don't turn on you. Oh my God, look at the amount of items and experience and things on the ground. That is impressive. Oh my gosh, we've done it. We defeated the entire arena. I lived, I can't believe that I lived, honestly. Also, look at my experience just go up and up and up, going through all these items. <laughs> I am here to say that the most OP bow, I believe, is the Iron Golem bow, because uh, I could have just done this, I think, with just this one bow. Oh my gosh, look, I didn't realize you get a chest at the end. You get like a prize. Oh my gosh, uh, I don't need any of those. I got a netherite fortune three, unbreaking three, emission efficiency four, five, mending one. Oh my gosh, and I got, oh, I got an awesome netherite helmet and 
an actual good, uh, well, actually not a good bow. I'm breaking, I don't know about that. But a wither bow, which was really hard for me to get. And another star, <gasps> a wither skeleton skull, so I could make my own again. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I love that about actually completing it. You get a cool chest. Oh my gosh, not even, I didn't even notice. Five netherite ingots? <gasps> Switch out my helmet for that one. I'm just curious if I can do all of this with just the iron golem bow to see how overpowered it is. So we're gonna do another hard difficulty arena. This time I'm only going to use the iron golem bow. I just wanna see if it's as powerful as I think that it is. Also, I need to make an escape route over here. Okay, the first wave is doing pretty good. I'm focusing on these witches. They are so bad if they actually hit you. And now every single arrow that I fire is going to be summoning a new iron golem. Crumbs, I got poisoned. That is not good. Okay, wave three is starting. Oh my gosh, okay, wave four, I gotta eat up. It's my goal to basically only use the iron golem. Oh, weapon, oh no, I am down to two hearts and I'm withered. Oh, this could be it. Oh gosh, this could be it. One heart left. Oh, stay away, stay away. I think this is it. Oh no, oh no, I need to eat, I need to eat. I need to have half a heart, please, 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 please. <gasps> oh, I have to protect myself and my army of, of iron golems. Holy moly, we did it! We did it. We cleared out everything, the amount of items and things on the floor is just absolutely insane. I see a wither skull there. Do we get a new chest? We do! Oh, is it the exact same stuff? Is it the exact same stuff? Oh no! Oh, what? I thought it would be different! Dang it, maybe I maybe if I complete it on easy? Okay, I beat the arena on medium difficulty just to see if the chest is different. Oh, it is! Oh, you get a lot more netherite. Oh, you get a shield, a lot of diamond. Oh, a netherite chest piece. Oh, the warden bow. Oh man, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, chest piece acquired. Okay, I defeated it on medium and now easy. Ah, oh, you get some boots, wow. Insanely good boots. Honestly, defeating this on any level seems like, wow, that is a lot of stuff. Not sure how you get the pants. Maybe you uh, fight in PVP. That is another mode that you can fight in, uh, but I don't have, I don't have a friend. So <laughs> we're not gonna try that one. That about wraps it up for today's video. Holy moly, this is an amazing map. Don't forget you can get this in the Minecraft marketplace if you enjoyed it. Uh, Mob bows, once again, is what we're playing. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, like the video, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite mob bow was and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.